Greetings, cats and kittens, and welcome to Libby's Lullabies. Today, I am going to be reading Back to School with Bigfoot by Samantha Berger and Martha Brockenbrook with illustrations by Dave Bressler. You guys ever get nervous before you go to school for the first time? I know I used to. I had a lot of things to think about, but with Bigfoot, his problems are even bigger. So I want you to sit back or lie down. Either way, enjoy the story. If you think you've got big back-to-school problems, let me tell you, mine are bigger. Because I am Bigfoot. And everything is bigger for me. Back-to-school shopping is an extra large job. Unfortunately, I am an extra, extra large. Rip you by. A back to school haircut takes all day because I am all hair. And back to school shoes, well, how do you think I got the name Bigfoot in the first place? My worries are bigger than that, though. What if the bus driver doesn't see me when she comes to pick us up? It could totally happen. It could totally happen. What if I can't stand still for class pictures? Again. What if at lunch, I make a mistake? The biggest mistake in the history of big mistake making. That's it. I quit. I can't go back to school this year. Bigfoot is out. Even if Miss Sierra Nevada is the best teacher in our school, even if this is the year we get to study mythological creatures, even if I won't get to see all of my friends again, Cope, my friends. We can do some enormous art projects this year. We might go on some humongous field trips. And we will have a tremendous graduation ceremony at the end. Everyone I love will be there. He's a valedictorian. Okay, maybe. Probably, most likely, I will go back to school this year. Cool sunglasses, favorite t-shirt, awesome new haircut, comfortable underwear, backpack mostly lunch, lucky action figure in pocket, amazing new shoes. It's a big step even for Bigfoot, and I'm taking it. Well done, Bigfoot. So, you guys ever get freaked out about the first day of school or going back to school? It's okay. You're not alone in that. It can be really scary, but it can be really awesome. But you won't know until you go. I want you guys to enjoy the rest of your day, or your evening, your week, or your weekend, and I will see you next time on Libby's Lullaby.